I count so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. I count, give 100%. The money I make, more than I spend. I count, put the numbers to the test. Balance my life, add to success. I count, will I be a star? Forget about the rest, be who you are. I count. A stock is important. If you run out, you can't make any money. I count, so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. Two more lemonades. That'll be 20 rand, please. Thank you. Hey, if you're not busy, you can always come and help. Leave me alone. Sour lemons on that side. On the subject of lemons, how much stock do we have left? The lemons are finished. This is our last jug of lemonade. What? It can't be. Excuse me, can I please have four lemonades with lots of ice? It's so hot today. Certainly. That will be 40 rand. That's the last of it. I can't believe it. I must have made a mistake in my business calculations. And all the shops are closed. I can't even go and buy more lemons. This is a disaster. Hey, it's not that bad. We had sales. Not like poor Ledger over there. Leave me alone. True. But still, it's not like me to make such a massive error in calculations. I'm happy. Now I can go and check out what else is for sale at the flea market. See you later. Are you alright? I'm fine. Leave me alone. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. You just had a slow day. Next time, it will be better. More like a no day. I did not even sell one t-shirt. Not one. I needed the money I made today so I could pay the 500 rand petrol money I still owe to the travel fund. Don't worry about that now. Will it be possible for me to borrow the money from you? Just until my next flea market. Please, I, I promise I will give it back. A loan? Repayable with interest? Come on. I thought we were friends. Not when it comes to loans. Fine. With interest. Okay. Money. Why don't I just make money? Guys, you have to come with me. I have just tasted the most amazing food ever. I count. Consider your customers. Make sure that your services or products are in demand. So guys, well, Lona's lemonade was a huge success, but unfortunately she ran out of stock, which was a lemonade. I know how that feels, dude. Like, you know sometimes when people are looking for stock, like sweets or something, and they don't find it, I feel sick because I'm thinking I'm losing a sale. <laughs> I <Impressive>. don't know. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, okay, but with Lona, it was her first time, right? Her first day. And so she's going to actually learn through trial and error as she goes along. But for now, what do you think that, you know, she could have done differently? Well, like, she could have phoned the organizer and asked how many people normally come to the market. That's good. It's important to know your numbers. But I still think it's best to run out of stock than to have a lot of leftover. I mean, it's the worst case scenario. Oh, okay. Well, I see what you're saying. But then again, understocking is, is not um, a great business practice as well. Because you'll have customers coming off into your shop and then you never have any stock. And then at some point, they'll just stop coming. So it's very, very important to always keep um, track of your inventory. And how do you do that? Well, I count my stock at the end of each week. So you're taking inventory of your stock and you count how much stock you have left, you know, at the end. And then what do you do with your information? At the end of each week, I like I make a list of all the things that I need to buy. And then when I go to town, I just buy what I'm short of. To keep inventory of your stock is a very important thing and there are two methods of doing that in business. There's the periodic inventory system and then there's also the perpetual inventory system. Um, can anybody tell me the difference? I think I use the periodic inventory system because I count my stock at the end of each week. Okay, that's correct. And with the perpetual inventory system, that updates the inventory quantities continuously as stock is sold or purchased. So you have the record of everything left in your shop and what you have sold as you go along. You don't need to wait till the end of the week to see what's needed and what's not. Correct. The inventory subsidiary ledger is updated as the transactions take place. So it'll have like an exact account of what you've bought and what you've sold. And then the difference will be what you have left over at your shop. Poor ledger. 
had nothing to add in his inventory subsidiary ledger, as he did not have even one transaction. Yeah. Nobody bought his T-shirt. Mm. And, you know, thanks for mentioning Ledger, actually, because, you know, he didn't sell any T-shirts and that was his only way to pay for the trip. And now he's had to borrow money from Lona. Um, do you think that this was a wise thing to do? Well, what other option did he have? I mean, he didn't plan the trip. He didn't save any money, which placed him into a corner. He didn't sell any T-shirts. So how is he expected to pay off his debts? Well, I feel sorry for Ledger. I think it's unfair that Lona is making him pay interest. Uh, you know, I just, I, I think about what you're saying and I actually am on Lona's side. Mm. Lona is also taking a risk and she needs to get something back for her risk. And I also agree with Miles. If Ledger had actually prepared for his trip and planned ahead, he wouldn't be in the predicament he's in right now. Um, do you think it's a wise thing for Ledger to be incurring debt right now? Well, he needs money and he didn't sell any t-shirts, so I don't see him having any other option. Okay, well, what happens if he doesn't sell any t-shirts in the future either? Well, he'll sink deeper and deeper into debt. And that is the problem with starting to spend money that you don't have. It's like a vicious circle, a debt trap. Um, let's get back to Lona. What do you think she should do differently next time to make sure that she doesn't run out of stock? Well, I think this was like a first test run for her, so now she knows what she needs to do to make it better for next time. Well, I think she needs to call the organizers and find out how many people are coming to the festival. Then she could do like a sales projection and then compare that to the people that came to her store. And then again, she could compare that and adapt that to the purchasing, like how much she needs to buy, yeah. how much she needs to leave out, that yeah. type of thing. Megala, that's really good advice. Hey, thank you. Work on a formula to determine your projected sales. The more prepared you are, the more successful you will be. Make sure you keep your inventory system updated and you know exactly what you have sold and what you have left. When you are getting into debt, make sure you understand what the terms and conditions of the loan are. Don't just borrow money, especially if you do not have the means to repay the loan. Never, never, ever, ever, ever loan money to your friends. Actually, don't you ever even borrow money from your friends as well. Avoid getting into debt because it's a really bad idea. Rather save your money first. Avoid debt. Just don't do it.